Um, <laughs> somebody is asking, what if my church is compromising on this issue? And man, pastorally, I'm the interviewer today, though. I got to behave myself and just be the host. But I see that and I, I know what I want to say. This is your guys' show here. Um, a church is compromising on this. They're not changing their stance. What would you tell that uh, member of the big C, the church of God, the flock at large? What are they supposed to do? Well, uh, I, I don't want to wind them up like a top and, uh, and send them out, um, you know, as an army dressed for battle, you know, with unsuspecting elders or something like this. I want them to, to speak the truth in love, even in their local church context, Ephesians 4.15. If that is happening and has happened, then uh, frankly, I think it's time to find a new church. Um, that may sound strong, but, uh, but if a church is compromising on these issues, uh, if a church is teaching people, for example, that they can be a gay Christian or they can be a transgender Christian, if, or if a church is simply uh, not really talking about these things, if it's not discipling uh, its people on these matters, if the elders aren't really engaging the issues, I don't mean this in an inflammatory, angry way. I'm sure Gavin would agree with me. He's a local church pastor uh, right now. Uh, we want the fruits of the Spirit to, to come to fruition in these and all situations. And yet, if a church is either compromising the truth and enfranchising, let's say, gay Christianity or transgender Christianity, uh, then I think it's time to find a new church. Or there's even much to consider if the church simply is not telling the truth, the full truth, preaching the whole counsel. Pastors get to hard texts, let's say, about wives submitting to husbands, and, uh, and, and uh, pastors don't preach those texts, or pastors get to hard texts about homosexuality or whatever the sin pattern may be, and they dodge it. We, we want to recognize that we only have one life. This life is a vapor, and life is too short to be linked to a church uh, that, that doesn't preach sound doctrine. Life is too short. You need to find you a church as best you can by the grace of God that preaches the whole counsel of God, not, not to get people, not to zap people, not because it's angry, not because it wants to win a political food fight, but because it loves God. It loves the glory of God. And it recognizes that God is glorified when his people obey the whole counsel of God, especially filtered through the prism of new covenant faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Because it's really they, good. Let's make it clear that a church that publicly affirms uh, homosexuality and homosexual uh, marriage as, as good and right before God has actually already ceased to be a biblical church. It ceased to be a biblical church. Therefore, if you find yourself in that situation, you should, with respect, approach uh, the elders of that church with the Bible in hand, point to the scriptures, and if there's no turning from that, as Owen said, you, you must leave. It's already ceased to be a biblical church.